Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, he's our pig. It's Mr. Nick. Yay! Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Mr. Nick Show, and I'm your host, Mr. Nick. And this is my co-host, Allie. Hi. Today, we're continuing our series on outer space, and we're talking about the planet we live on, Earth. I'm excited because this is where we live. It's kind of cool to know about it, right? right? Let's talk about it. So Earth is the third planet from the sun. Now, if you saw our sun episode, then you know that eight planets orbit around the sun and Earth is the third from the sun. Earth is about 4.5 billion years old. That's so old. And it's the only planet known to actually have life on it, meaning living animals, organisms, plants. Earth is the only planet that has life on it. Now, it's the third from the sun. I think that's pretty close, but that's still about 93 million miles from the sun. That's how far we are. But it seems to be the right amount because if we were too close, it'd be too hot. And if we were too far away, it wouldn't be warm enough. So 93 million miles, I guess, seems about right. Now, Earth takes 365.26 days to orbit around the sun. So Earth travels all the way around the sun, and that happens in 365.26 days, which is one year. And you say, what about that other 0.26 days? Well, that's how come every four years we have a leap year. With that extra day added to the calendar. Earth has one moon. So the moon that we see every night orbits around Earth. Some planets have many, many, many moons. We have one. And the Earth also has an axis, kind of going through the middle of it that it rotates on. So as the Earth slowly travels around the sun, it's also slowly spinning. And that takes 24 hours to rotate on its axis, which equals one day. Actually, it takes 23 hours, 56 minutes and four seconds to rotate on its axis which is why it takes just over that one year to orbit the sun. And Earth is not perfectly round. It's a geoid shape, which means that it bulges a little bit in the middle around the equator. Now, in case you didn't know, around the equator, which is the center, it's like your belt, if you were to wear a belt around your pants in the center, that's where we have the hottest temperatures on Earth. The closer you get to the equator, the hotter it is. Well, why is that? Well, if it bulges out a little bit there, that means that part is closer to the sun, which makes it a little bit hotter. That makes sense. Now, 70% of Earth is covered in water oceans and lakes and rivers and the other 30 percent is ground that we can see above the sea level so actually if you took away all the water there'd be ground everywhere but water covers 70 percent of the ground and the other 30 percent is above sea level and we can see that that's what we live on now i have a question why is the sky blue well the sky is blue because sunlight coming from the sun hits the Earth's atmosphere and scatters in all different directions. Blue light rays scatters more than the other colors because it travels in shorter, smaller waves. And this is why the sky appears to be blue because we can see the blue light waves better than the other light waves. Now, hold on, I said the sun's light comes and hits the Earth's atmosphere, but what is the Earth's atmosphere? The atmosphere is a protective barrier for our planet. It's like a jacket. And there's layers that travel from the ground all the way to outer space. And our atmosphere keeps us warm. It gives us the oxygen that we breathe. It also is why we have different seasons and weather. 
And without the Earth's atmosphere protecting us, we wouldn't be able to make it. So that protective layer, and that sunlight comes from the sun, hits the atmosphere, scatters in all different directions. Could you imagine if purple rays were the shortest and easiest to see? Our sky would be purple. That'd be kind of crazy, huh? All right, well, that was a lot of information about Earth, and there's so much more we can get into, but man, it gets pretty complicated. So I hope that was a good intro for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, watch all the other episodes that we're doing about space, Earth, the moon, the sun, everything. All right, guys, you know what time it is? It's time for the joke of the day. Are you ready, Allie? I'm ready. Okay. How do you know that the ocean is nice? Hmm. I don't know. Because it waves. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you liked that one. If you did, Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so you see all of the episodes that we're doing. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, he's our pick. It's Mr. Nick. Yay.